Welcome back to another tabletop review. Today we'll take a look at the Ohuhu Red and Green Reflex Sight. Need an optic for your firearm but on a tight budget? This could be your solution. If you've watched many of my more recent videos you may have seen this red and green dot reflex sight by Ohuhu. And this is one of those items that actually works pretty well and is really ridiculously cheap. Only about twenty dollars today. I actually own a couple of these and one I've had for a few years that's been knocked around a bit so I can report on how well these have actually held up under use. This is one of those accessories people have been asking me about. The Ohuhu reflex sight might be inexpensive but is it any good is a more important question. By the way if you enjoy this review be sure to like, share, and subscribe. The Ohuhu Electra Dot sight comes in a sturdy cardboard box and there's packing foam, comes with the instructions, comes with the battery, comes with two Allen wrenches, one for adjusting elevation and windage, and the other for the locking screw. And we have a card for customer service, and we have a cleaning cloth. This is an open design reflex dot sight with four reticles or patterns available in red and green. Uh, the lens is 33 millimeters. The eye relief is unlimited. Five different intensities or brightnesses can be dialed in here for patterns. Uh, there are Allen screw adjustments on the top here for elevation and on the side here for the windage. You need to unlock the adjustment over here uh, before trying to make changes. Each click of the adjustment should equal about an inch in 100 yards. The unit is said to be waterproof and shockproof. And at 4 ounces it's quite light. Power consumption is relatively low so battery life should be pretty good. The built-in mounting system is for standard bases. The system should stay zeroed in once set, even if removed from the firearm and reinstalled. As for function, let's turn the unit on. Twist the brightness selector here to turn it on and select the brightness. We're going to set it on the lowest brightness, uh, that would be 1, uh, and we're selecting green. Uh, we have a switch back here for selecting the patterns. We have a dot, uh, circle dot, crosshairs uh, with a dot, and finally a circle crosshairs with a dot. Uh, let's see if we can take a look at the different patterns projected onto the screen with this camera. Probably it's not going to work from what I can see in the inter internet uh, reviews. Uh, cameras don't do the, uh, the patterns justice, but we'll give it a shot here. So there's the, the last setting here, circle with crosshairs. And I'll flip through them. There's the dot. So as you can see, the camera is really not picking it up very well, but there's the green dot. And we can do a quick switch here to the red dot. Mounting is standard with two good sized mounting Allen head screws to uh, zero the sights in. You unlock the Allen screw here first and then make the necessary adjustments for elevation and windage here. And uh, the uh, Allen wrench for adjustment is the same one for the installation of the. Uh, of the unit. As for cons, the on-off dial is fairly stiff to operate and the open exposed design means the lens can accumulate dust, dirt, and moisture. The unit does come with a protective cover but I've almost forgotten mine several times at the range when I was packing up. To be honest, they say that these are waterproof and shockproof but I'd suggest not pushing it. Under normal use, probably they're pretty good. But I've seen reviews where they fail to hold zero after you hit them hard enough to bend the aluminum frame. So be realistic about your $20 optic. Also, although battery life has been pretty good, for example, I've forgotten to turn off uh, a unit after a range visit to the next day, and the battery wasn't drained, but it would be nice if an auto power off after an hour or so was built into the unit. That would have been nice. 
As for pros, I like the variety of patterns provided in both red and green. Within reason, this unit is waterproof and shockproof. I've had this unit on and off of firearms many times and indeed, it has stayed zeroed in pretty well. The unit that I've had for several years has actually held up quite well. I've got no complaints. The open design means I can keep both eyes open and have a clear picture of my target and surroundings. Much better than my old red dot tunnel view unit. And it's hard to beat the price for what you get. Now if you look around, there are similar inexpensive reflex lens optics out there. Amazon has a bunch that actually look quite similar to the Ohuhu for less than $30. Since I like to stick with what's worked well, when I decided to get another sight, I went back to the Ohuhu again, and I haven't been disappointed. But it's probably a good idea to check out what's out there, because things change and sometimes even better could be available. Now the manufacturer suggested retail price for the Ohuhu Electro Dot Sight is actually $29.99, but the more common sale prices have been around $21, with special sales as little as $11 if you can believe that. So look around, Amazon currently offers the Ohuhu for $21. Now before we end today's video, I'd like to remind you that if you haven't already, be sure to like, share, and subscribe down below. And thanks for watching, and I hope you found this video to be helpful. Well, in conclusion, you know I've had one of these units for several years and it's had a lot of use. Battery life has been good, even though I've forgotten to turn it off several times. I really like the patterns available. The lens has gotten a bit dirty a couple of times during use, but cleaned up very nicely. I've taken the unit off of a gun and later returned it to the same gun and it stayed zeroed in very nicely. I like the open design and target acquisition and retention has been very good, especially with moving targets or moving between multiple targets. For about $20, the Ohuhu Electra Dot Sight is pretty good choice for firearm optic on a budget that works, is reliable, provides good choice of patterns, and won't break the bank. I think that's pretty good. Any weapon you carry is better than one you left at home. Thanks for watching. Hope you'll be back for my next tabletop review. Until next time, stay safe.